Hey guys, welcome back to another Autonauts video. Oh, I actually haven't done really done a work off cam, but I was going idle, and right before setting this up, starting the video, I actually learned about a few settings. I can make it nighttime, which is actually really cool. And I also turned on a setting which makes a lot of things a lot more detailed. For example, the storages. I like the new. I actually really like this. <laughs> you know, the storages and the worker assemblers. I'm pretty sure are the only things that really get an increased detail. Of course, I'm, am I actually have all of these just have shadows in them? But I'm not sure. But yeah, what I did leave this open for like 20 minutes, maybe he before recording. So. Should have a lot, should have a, at least a little bit of extra stuff in here. Yeah, a small amount of metal. Not as much as I'm gonna need to make a steam work bot, but hey, better than nothing. Alright, so first. Alright, metal plates, metal gear, metal pole, yep. Alright, so. I am going to need you. Alright. I'm going to need a data storage. Plank and a metal plate. So, two metal. Make a plank. I mean, a plate. There. Grab one of these. And set it there. There we go. So, I believe I can simply... Oh! This can be used as, as to back up information. That's actually really cool. Uh, but I can't put it on. Well, I'll set it down right here. That is good to know, though. Alright. Uh, maybe I can do this like this. Alright. First, I'm going to need to go ahead and... Set one thing up real quick. There we go. That's just because of all the repeat commands I'm going to have in here. Alright, first thing I want you to do is do this twice. Then take this again, put it there. And take this. Put it there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just four times. Eight times. See, no, only six. Six times. Alright, so. Let me slide this out. You need to do this twice. Then, find the nearest gear. Put it in here. Oh, wait. wait. There we go. And then, find a pole. Add it to this. Right, let's stop this real quick, so I don't overload his brain. Play. And find a plate, and throw it in here. You will do that for the rest of your existence. Alright. Okay, and then I'm going to have a robot whose sole purpose in life is going to be emptying water into this. By the way, the reason I'm not having the uh, ones with buckets is repair their buckets is like, the buckets literally cannot break. There is no need to have, have someone get more of something if it if they cannot lose it in the first place 
repeat until this storage is not full. Then once that's once that has happened, let's see. And go there and drop that. And pick up a shovel. Move to the nearest berry bush. Just plant berries. Yay. So essentially, he is going to be using his wind bucket until this storage is not full and by that I mean like close to being um, close to being not full like 180 maybe then he's simply going to dig out a berry bush play all right let's drop this there we go put in your rubber bands so yeah, he's gonna, he's very unlikely to be digging that, but say this guy runs out of power, and he, some, this guy for some reason doesn't, that would result in a bunch of berry bushes. So basically what's going to be going on is this guy is going to be working with this guy to make the steam work bots. He's going to be doing the metal part, and he's going to be doing the water part. reason why I was grabbing this is I thought it would increase the amount of information a robot can hold at one time. So, like, I figured I could make this guy do hold 18 heen commands instead of 32. So I was going to have him do we'll get water as well. But... It's fine. Now that I think about it, let's see. Yeah, we. Why do we hardly. Okay, hold on. Let's get a robot over here. So you done there. You repeat that until this storage is full. Once that has happened. See, you are going to hmm. kind of want to have him charge robots that are out of battery when this thing is full. Ooh, he's going to be in charge of, of steam charging as well. well. He's going to take part in it. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted. Great. Yeah, I'll just do it later. He's gonna be our backup. He's also gonna be a charge bot. Right, though. Wait. His primary goal is going to be pick to pick up all the logs over here that our other log guy isn't picking up. Because he's too slow. Alright, but... Yeah, this seems to be working. Yeah, he's just... He's just not able to go very quickly because... He doesn't have much metal. Because we are a bit of a lack of wood. Alright. 
you. Let me go ahead and add a wait command in here. Well, actually. Ooh, come on. I have a good idea. Stop. Back up. Now clear it. You now will do absolutely nothing. And then you get over here. Restore. Alright, go into teaching. Now, as well as that, alright. What you will be doing. Is here we go until this storage is full. No, well, you're going to be filling it up. Once it is, you're going to be working with planks. All right, so I'll just set this thing right here. I can actually use it as a charge bot thing as well. I'll keep that in mind. But, now that I think about it, it's unlikely for a charge bot to be, able to be able to have any other job. Because once they start that script, they're not going to want to stop till they've charged a robot. Alright. I'll cause this pile to slowly go down, but... I think it's fine that would I think it's fine and slowly going down. <laughs> what do you guys think? By the way, I was actually looking at my Autonauts video and some and lucky for me, the thumbnail actually has a glimpse of the you know, poles and planks. It's not showing how high they truly got, but Still, I think that's pretty nice. You know, once these two fill up, this is going to be towering. Oh, hold on. Another thing I'm going to be needing to do is having a robot. Where you? See, I don't want to restart your script. Actually, yeah, it should be fine. I believe you're right in the middle of it. Well, right at the start, so. Yeah. First, let me go ahead and take this. Alright, after that, you are going to... Wait. For about two minutes. There we go. Now let me throw that in there again. Actually... Yeah, grab this. Back up. Alright, so now I've got his code backed up. Alright, there we go. That was working fine. And it's backed up, so I can put it on another robot to speed it up if I need to. But it's unlikely. If anything, I'm going to be needing more wood collectors. Or more bots solely dedicated to charging others. Because <laughs> our charge bot's starting to need a little help. You know, let's grab... Alright, this one will be my own personal one. Not going to have any robots attached to it, because it's going to be in charge of making beacons and data storages. Essentially, what beacons will do is, for the price of, I believe, some plates and some poles, I can... That's going good. I can expand the range of robots. Or add a new area in their range of things to do.
Alright, let's grab the beacon. Let's see. Yeah, four metal plates and four metal poles. Alright. Right. But I'm probably gonna be having my charge bot doing working for that a lot. Like I'm gonna have a beacon over here. And a beacon way up here. And and maybe one over here just because. Oh, there we go. Our very first Steam work bot. Now you, my friend, are going way up here. Because I want you to. <laughs> no other reason. Alright, so. Let's see. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Alright. Four planks. Hopefully I can remember that he's he's up there. Because he's going to have a very important job. And that's going to be to be gathering tons of berries. Good night. Talk to you tomorrow. Oh, fine. But yeah, he is going to be our berry gatherer to feed these little people. And make them happy. See what else? All right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need a new, another charge bot. Let me power up. I believe yeah, my lumberjack bot, and make another charge bot real quick. I right, assign because I always want my charge bots named. Always. No, wait. All right, grab you. All right, and name you. Let's see, charge bot. How did I not notice that? But two point oh, no, no, just two. All right. So, you will also go around charging robots for the rest of your existence. Now a charge bot has some help. To be honest, they're probably going to be fighting over who gets to charge it more than they're helping each other, but... Hey, what can you do? Alright. Yeah, I'm going to be getting lots of Steamwork bots if I leave this open for a little while. But only if I leave it open for a while. There we go. So that's working good. I'm going to need to have a charge bot sitting right here, aren't I? <laughs> oh, that's going to be a pain. Alright. Where's the... No. What is he holding? Oh, wrong one. There we go. What is he? Oh, he's waiting. Perfect. So, alright. I'm going to pause you for a little while. Let me actually pick you up, or the other one, so that you're separated, and I can pause you again. Perfect. Alright, so now I can pause that, we'll play that guy later on. And let me think. Yeah. Now, off can't, no, I'm pro, I know this was likely a short video, but it is pretty late. And uh, all I would be doing is, is making a bunch of poles and, well, and plates. He's in waiting on more metal to come in for the beacons. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, you know what button to hit. If not, again, you know what button to hit. And I will see you guys later. Let's go ahead and save. Because you guys get to watch me save and all that. 
because I don't, I honestly don't want to trim out anything, because I might forget, and then you're just watching me close out the video. <laughs>